Good morning and um, today I would love to introduce you a very interesting example of 19th century female painter. Actually, in my class about female artists in uh, Italy, one lecture is devoted to American 19th century female painters and sculptors uh, living and working in uh, Italy. Right now I would like to talk about uh, another example, a uh, unique example of Japanese artist living in uh, Italy, Otama. And uh, in order to introduce her and her works, we have to start with Sicilian uh, sculptor Vincenzo Ragusa. Vincenzo Ragusa was a very important uh, local uh, sculptor, 19th century Italy, um, close to Garibaldi and uh, uh, socialist movement. Here we can see um, his equestrian bronze monument of the national hero Giuseppe Garibaldi 1891 in Palermo. Uh, very interesting and dynamic composition of Garibaldi pointing to Palermo in order to free the town with his volunteers. Also, Vincenzo Ragusa was involved with, with uh, human rights and another interesting uh, started by him uh, was devoted to the abolition of slavery in uh, America, 1873. Over there we can see a black boy breaking off chains getting his freedom. And this is particularly uh, interesting work according to that time culture and uh, standards. We can see how Vincenzo Ragusa took care about the condition of black people in, uh, in America. Ragusa and the painter Antonio Fontanesi in 1876 uh, had very uh, unique opportunity uh, to work abroad, to move to Japan in order to create an Italian fine art school uh, academy. Thanks to the Japanese emperor Mutsuhito, the founder of Meiji uh, era. Till Mutsuhito times, Japan was a very secluded uh, island, secluded to people from abroad, secluded to cul different cultures from abroad. It was a very uh, secluded island. Mutsuhito opened Japan to Western culture and actually he wanted to improve uh, knowledge of Western culture among Japanese people. So his idea was to create a um, school of Italian style art in uh, Tokyo. So that's a picture of Tokyo during 19th century. Same vision of this Sicilian sculptor, you know, coming to this completely different world. This is the fish market in Nihonbashi. And this is a photograph of Ragusa and Fontanesi school in uh, Tokyo 
with Japanese fine art students. School became very, very popular and for Japanese artists was uh, very shocking to see and to discover the Western style, the romantic and impressionist style introduced by Ragusa and Fontanesi, particularly the so-called verismo, realism of Ragusa uh, status. Over there we can see a statue portrait of a Japanese actor, or on the right, Japanese old man, old poor man. No idealization, just a picture of real life and real uh, human beings. So, for Japanese uh, culture, for Japanese idea of art, the, this, those works were a real shock. Or, this is a bronze statue of a Japanese woman modeled on Baroque examples, particularly I am thinking about Bernini, uh, a portrait of her, well, his lover in the Bargello Museum in Florence. And uh, <clears throat> living in uh, Tokyo, Ragusa met a 16 years old student of the painter Eisu. This girl was Kiyohara Tama. Was a love story between them, was a romance actually they fell in love each other and uh, <clears throat> Ragusa began to visit Kiyohara house uh, giving her some lessons of its uh, western style painting so here we can see for instance uh, uh, watercolor landscape by Kiyohara Tama and even if, of course, the uh, set is uh, landscape is uh, clearly Japanese, style uh, looks uh, Western uh, style. So, <clears throat> Kyohara became very interesting painter, blending uh, two different continents, two different styles, two different cultures. If style became more and more Italian, Western style of painting, subjects were uh, from traditional ukiyo-e uh, Japanese art. For instance, we can compare on the left uh, two, women's, two women with umbrellas by Kiyohara and we can see a similar subject by the ukiyo-e painter Haronobu. Or on the left, young girl bringing water by Kiyohara Tama and we can compare with uh, another work by Haronobu. So the same, similar subject, same elegant female figure, but the style of Kiyohara is uh, pre-Western uh, style. As we can see there, subject looks Japanese, this girl is wearing Japanese clothes, but style uh, looks, uh, looks Italian. Actually, Ragusa had very interesting project. If he was called by the Japanese emperor to introduce a western style in Japan, his idea, Ragusa's idea, 
was to move back to Palermo, Sicily, in order to introduce Japanese style in uh, Italy, to create a uh, Japanese style fine art school in Palermo, Sicily. And uh, the couple, Kiyohara and uh, Ragusa, moved from Tokyo to Sicily. This is a portrait of Kiyohara by uh, her lover, uh, Vincenzo, Vincenzo Ragusa. So very interesting uh, work, very refined with moving eyes, full of humanity. Also, Ragusa brought to Palermo, Sicily, uh, many uh, artifacts by Japanese art. And uh, he asked uh, Kiyohara to uh, make uh, watercolors drawings of them, as we can see uh, there. All those objects are from Ragusa private collection. So, Kiyohara, this very adventurous young girl, moved from Tokyo to Sicily, to Palermo. And uh, in Palermo, she became teacher of Ragusa Fine Arts School. And she became extremely popular among Sicilian art lovers and Sicilian aristocracy. In that photo we can see Chiara with student of her in Chiara studio in Palermo, Sicily. So, and also Ragusa brought to Sicily Chiara sister Ocio and her husband to teach traditional uh, techniques in, in Palermo. So Kiyohara became very rare and unique and I want to say beautiful example of Japanese Italian lady. She was used to wear traditional Japanese clothes or uh, Italian ones, as we can see there, you know, the same clothes of Sicilian aristocratic uh, women, showing off this uh, connection, thanks to art, between Japan and Italy. She was a pioneer, you know, of this uh, vision about art. And as I told you before, if style of Kiyohara uh, can be considered a uh, western style and techniques, oil painting, watercolor, traditionally western painting techniques, actually uh, subjects uh, are often connected with her background with Japanese art. For instance, on the left there is a beautiful old painting by Kiyohara with a pine tree and the moonlight and the sea, and we can compare with a very similar subject by Okzai, where there is a moonlight, pine and a tree. Or cranes. Cranes are very popular subjects in uh, traditional Japanese art. Cranes are connected with the idea of long life. So on the right we can see Okuzai version and we can compare with very liberty style one by Kiyohara. Or flowers. Right. Oksai left uh, Kiyohara. In uh, Palermo, Kiyohara became Christian and she married uh, Ragusa, 
and she took also the name of Eleonora and uh, so here we can see her signature as Eleonora Ragusa also more also we can see on the right uh, traditional uh, subject of birds and flowers by uh, Okuzai in this woodcut and we can compare with same subject western style by Kiyohara sometimes uh, Kiyohara style looks uh, and subject look much more western style like those grapes and this is a masterpiece by Kiyohara uh, Tama we can uh, understand her qualities, her skills uh, and the level of her painting she, she was a very rare example in 19th century Italy and particularly 19th century Sicily of professional uh, female painter so here is a ceremony of ascension night so where priests are blessing animals and here we can see on the left uh, uh, aristocratic palace balloon but the most impressive detail of this painting is this light from a boat and lighting you know those people and animals emerging from the the darkness uh, i mean the contrast between the darkness and light here looks uh, very very impressive or also think about this lamp and lighting this man and uh, this one so it's uh, extremely refined work and we can have an idea about you know well kiyohara uh, genius in uh, sicily of course she was she was also influenced by local painters as for instance francesco loiacono here on the right we can see fishermen in sicily by loiacono and we can compare this painting with the same subject by kiyohara another very important interesting work by kiyohara is a series of watercolors made in 1909 after the um, huge earthquake in Messina, Sicily. So realism here works also as a document of you know the situation and the condition of that town after the earthquake. But anyway, the quality is very very high and here there is the um, portrait of her husband Vincenzo Vincenzo Ragusa is a very old uh, man with you know his drawings and letters after Vincenzo Ragusa died Kiyohara came back to Tokyo she continued to make art she was a very um, popular painter in uh, Tokyo too and she contributed to develop more and more western style painting in uh, Japan and she became and she she is still today beautiful example of love between uh, Japan and uh, Italy thanks to uh, painting, thanks to art and a very rare example of independent and uh, courageous female artist in 19th century. Thank you.